The worst thing that people who live along coastlines can do is not to prepare for tropical storms and hurricanes. According to the National Hurricane Center, the two key factors contributing to weather safety during hurricanes are preparing in advance for the risks and to act on those preparations when alerted by emergency officials. The director of the National Hurricane Center, Rick Knapp, and AccuWeather hurricane expert Dan Kudlowski, outlined certain precautionary steps that people in areas impacted by hurricanes and tropical storms should take. 1. Evacuation planning The main reason people have to evacuate during hurricanes is from a storm surge, which is an abnormal rise of water generated by a storm's winds that can reach heights well over 20 feet and can span hundreds of miles of coastlines, according to the National Hurricane Center. Evacuation planning is number one on the list, NAB said. NAB urged that people find out today if they live in a hurricane evacuation area, which is an area in which residents must leave their homes in the event of a hurricane. Local governments provide the public with information about evacuation areas and the evacuation plans, and NAB recommended that people review this information in advance. Some people will actually test the evacuation route in good weather, Kudlowski said. Waiting until the day of the hurricane ISNT is a smart idea since everyone will be in a heightened state of anxiety. While people who live in storm surge areas fall within areas that are urged to evacuate during a hurricane, people who live outside of these zones should still look into safety precautions during a hurricane. Hurricane Waukee insurance in the Atlantic in the fall of 2015. Satellite image Now those who live in mobile homes and high-rises may also have to evacuate even if they do not live in an evacuation area, NAB said. It's not just a beachfront problem, he added. Pet owners should also have a evacuation plan for their pets. Many shelters offer places to keep pets, too. Buy supplies The most important thing that both Nab and Kudlowski stressed was buying supplies well in advance and keeping those supplies on hand should evacuation be required. If you wait until the hurricane is on your doorsteps, you are going to be waiting in long lines and they could even be out of the stuff you need, Nab said. Those living in evacuation areas should keep a hurricane kit handy that is stored in a way that is easy to grab and bring to an evacuation shelter. A satellite image of Hurricane Sandy on October 28, 2012. Image Earth Observatory now so while evacuation shelters do provide supplies, Kudlowski said, shelters can get overrun and may not have enough supplies. These kits should include water, food, blankets and clothing. Kudlowski said he recommends that residents have their kits bagged up in a suitcase or plastic tub. 3. Check insurance coverage Property owners and renters should be sure to insure their homes against flooding, something that NAB said many people do not realize is not a part of standard home and renter's insurance. Tenants and homeowners can contact their renters or home insurance provider to buy flood insurance, and they should do so even if they do not live right along the coastline. People might think that if they don't live on the coast, then they won't have a flooding problem, NAB said. But if it can rain, it can flood. Dimitri Pinkney installs hurricane shutters in advance of Hurricane Matthew on the Isle of Palms, SC, Wednesday, October 5, 2016. AP Photo McSmith car owners should also contact auto insurance companies and move their cars into an off-site, location or secured building. You won't be able to take every vehicle you own to the shelter, but if you leave the vehicle outside, it could be seriously damaged, Kudlowski said. 4. Make copies of important documents Those living in or near hurricane areas should make copies of proof of ownership documents of any property not limited to their homes, cars and boats. These documents can be stored in the hurricane kit, or in any safe location that does not risk being damaged during the hurricane. If a hurricane levels your house, you have to prove that it is your house, Kudlowski said. 5. Protect your home Residents and tenants should inspect their homes to confirm that there is no damage that a hurricane could increase. Related Top 5 U.S. Cities Most Vulnerable to Hurricanes AccuWeather Hurricane Forecast Center Explain hurricanes to kids How do storms form and what damage can they cause Any issues with the overall structure should be repaired, including loose shingles or damaged roofs. Any possible compromises to the roof or house will become an open avenue for strong and gusty winds, Kudlowski said. Residences with yards should also make a list of anything laying on the ground outside that could get tossed into the air and become debris during high winds. Kudlowski also said residents should purchase supplies, including plywood to cover windows and extra security to keep doors from blowing open, in advance, to secure their homes from damaging winds. 6. Back up your electronics Aside from keeping extra batteries and chargers around during a hurricane, people are also encouraged to back up any electronic devices. NAB said data should be stored at an off-site location so that data can be recovered if something were to happen to the physical computer or device during a hurricane.
Businesses should take particular caution in backing up information and sending that information to a remote site. For more safety and preparedness tips, visit AccuWeather.com ready. Report a typo.